we're live. Hi, everybody. Uh, happy Monday. Uh, today we are playing The Unfinished Swan, just for the heck of it. Uh, Damiani had me capture this game last week for a Pop Facts episode, and so it's here, and I figured, uh, why not? See, what happens on Mondays, we determine our, our streaming schedule <laughs> on Mondays, and uh, nobody wants to stream on Monday, uh, because that's today, right? Uh, so basically that's why I'm here, that's why we're streaming The Unfinished Swan. Uh, if you've never played this game before, you may have seen this. This is how the game starts. This is the opening of the game. And basically you are in an all-white room. And the only way to see your way out is to paint it up. And you're like, oh, there's a doorway there. Uh, the fun thing is, though, that we've played into the game a little bit. And we've unlocked some, uh, I guess they're called toys in this game. Uh, like this. Boom. Clean canvas. Toy activated. Uh, and it just clears everything out, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, if you're playing the game normally, you're shooting a lot of paint. Just doing this. It's like, oh, cool. Now I see where everything is. Uh, another really cool one that I've never played with before, stop time. So when you shoot a paintball, it's like trapped in the air. Here, I'll shoot two so you get a better idea of like what that looks like as you move around. And then you can kind of just like do this. And then you step backward and go, what? I didn't, I've never, I've never seen that before until today. I think that's really cool. And then, oh, I love it. I love that so much. <laughs> and then you can clean it up. This is, this game is a toy. Um, so I'll progress a little, a little bit. I just want to play with this a little longer. This is like the best room to have this ability in. How cool that is. Okay. And then back up really far. Cool. That's so cool. All right, we can progress on our mission now. Uh, so this game is about a little boy. I think he's looking for his dad. To be honest, I'm, I'm not too in tune to what the story is. All right, let me do it again. Stop time. Begin time. Oh, it's so cool. So here we got some bamboo. We progress further. Hey everybody. So yeah, I should have said hi. Hi Rick and Robo. Hi Captain Chemo. Uh, hey Rarness. Hey Example Account. Uh, hey Mike Hook. Hey Thundereth. Hey Sightus. Hey everybody. Uh, happy Monday. We're here. We're playing Unfinished Swan. Um, and so here's our, basically our first objective. Look, uh, little swan footprints. I'm gonna stop time again. Again, you can't do this until you're a little further into the game, but I think stop time is like the first thing you unlock. It's so cool. It just spreads the area for you. We can hear it. I hear you, Swan. Oh! Sorry, frog! And he hops in the water. And we can't hop in that water. Oh, it got eaten. That's interesting. I didn't know that happens. I was excited for Toy Story 2. I'm sorry. Uh, basically, Toy Story 2 is a game I'm digging right now. I really like it. Uh, it's a bad game to stream because it's painful, the platforming. It takes a lot of patience. Uh, and high patience games are not good streaming games, especially if it's just me. If we had like Huber over here to like hype it up while I'm trying to hit those early PS1 polygons, absolutely. Like, look at this platform, this is no problem. Two analog sticks, these are the days. First story two, one analog stick. So cool. I really like that. This game to me is still kind of a technical marvel. I still don't get how any of this works. I mean, look at that. Look what we can look at. Oh, it's beautiful. Stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in love. Okay. Walking upstairs. Uh, we also have a little balloon meter in the bottom left-hand corner. Which you would not normally have if you're playing the game. Legit. 
first way through. What's through here? What is this? Am I in a castle? Let's find out. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at that. That's so cool. That is... Oh man. That's the coolest thing. Uh, so yeah, we are in a castle now. stairs to climb here. Oh, it's like, oh, I see this one. I see the unfinished one. Not really, that's a statue. We'll find out later. Okay. Uh, I think the stairs are on the other side, aren't they? Yeah. But yeah, like, so this is a unique thing in that you're discovering your environment as you as you go through it. Uh, oh, there it is. There's my stairs. Uh, really, really crazy to me. You have to work to discover your environment, I guess. Come on, steering wheel. Here, let's do it again. Stop time! Sorry, I've been ignoring the comments. Toy Story 2 is my second PS1 game. Um, awesome. The first was Rugrats. That's pretty cool. They're not bad games. I really like it. Um, Toy Story 2 was available on the N64, and I think they're like the same game. Uh, hello, Delcast. Um, do you ever get that achievement of getting through the first section of ink, only shooting three ink balls? No. I would not try to achieve that achievement. This I love. I love this in any video game, where you can look back on where you've come from, this is featured a lot in this game, uh, where you look back and you're like, oh, I was there, and now I'm going here. And then once you go to where you're going to, you look back at that. A, you develop a sense of progression that way that I just adore. <laughs> sure, fish, you can have it. Man, maybe I should play that Rugrats game next. We got hype. We got Rugrats game hype in the comments. Oop, our balloon meter is going off. What you got, balloon meter? What do you have for us? Um, too good. This little thing is too good. I like the sound of our, that our feet make as they, uh... Ooh, did we just have a little, little speed run there? I guess not. It's not really important that we're up here now. Yeah, this is weird. I don't think I've been up on this little... Look at the pig. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, actually. The sounds change depending on what you hit. We're ne right next to that balloon. Where are you, balloon? Hmm. Hey, Spaceman! Uh, I've never played the Rugrats game. I think it was past my target demographic. That's what's crazy about some of those games is that they are legit beneath like how silly they are. Um, oh, okay. I just inadvertently landed on the balloon, I guess. I'll take it. You know what? We'll take what we can get. Oh, it's like being able to do like, this kind of thing in an environment. You know what I mean? Suddenly our paintballs have weight. Not important. Like, that is not necessary for beating this level. You can see how we just climbed the stairwell. Look at this! This is so awesome, dudes! Oh my gosh. This is everywhere we were. That's so crazy to me still. Alright. Balloon meter shrinking. I'm tempted to believe there's a balloon over here that we missed. There's a hippo. That's foreshadowing. Um, nope, we're not gonna make that jump. Oh, there's a balloon nearby though. The balloon meter says so. Alright, we're gonna 
hit that balloon. All right, so there's two stairwells here. Oh, really no way up there, though. Where are you, balloon? We sense you. Our balloon meter says that you're nearby. Maybe we shouldn't try to get all the balloons, huh? Dang, I love this, though. Look at this. Okay. Can we make that jump? We can't make that jump. We're just a little boy. We're not a platforming hero. Yeah. <gasps> Look at our balloon meter, though. It's going nuts. It's like you're there. You're hot. You're hot. You're hot. It's above us. You're hot. You're hot. Yeah, I guess we'd have to be up on those stairs to get up there. I'm sure Batman would love this game. I'm not sure why, but I agree. I do love it because I'm Batman. I believe you, Spaceman. Okay. Dang. How do I get that balloon up there? We know it's there. It's up in that corner. We know where you are, balloon. We can't hop on the hippo. Can we? No, we can't jump that high. We're just a little boy. Worth a shot. Do or die. Okay. Oop. I think we may have that. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, hippo. Now one more jump over here. Yes. All right. Where are you, balloon? Are you telling me we did all that work to get up here and there's no balloon? Look. Is it through here? No way. Uh-uh. Balloon, I know you're here. <laughs> Come on. It's got to be there, right? That's the only place where that balloon could be? Oh, no way. No way. So right now I'm just launching them through, hoping to... No way. Uh-uh. Balloon. You can't fool me, dude. Alright, you know what? Maybe we'll let that balloon go. It pains me. As someone who likes to collect everything. And I'll let that balloon go. Right? Chat, you tell me if we should continue to, like, the balloon quest. If we should do balloon quest or if we should progress through the game. I'm curious what your thoughts on that are. Let me know either way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like hearing it. I definitely like hearing the splatter. Mm. Wow, we really drenched this place. It is covered in ink. You gotta learn to let things go. You're right, Nedron. Let's just go. Dang. Progression. All right. You're all right. You, you're... Chat, you're right about this. Goodbye, dreams. The audio is freaking out. Uh, Damiani, that text is from 30 minutes ago. When the audio was freaking out. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, that sucks. To explain to chat what just happened, uh, Michael Damiani, guest, guest star in the stream, uh, just received a text that I sent to him a really long time ago. Okay. We got balloon. We got to go to that balloon, but you know, we can't. We got to What? Oh, hey. swung. You come back here, swung. Yeah, so then this kind of thing happens. Uh, you know, we're stuck in there. We can't go back. It's, oh my gosh. I love all that. Okay, go upstairs. Let's go. Let's go. Damiani Kuhn. There's some Damiani hype. He left immediately. Michael Damiani is uh, deep into his review for a, a certain game. So he has no time for nonsense like this. Yo, let's bladder it. Stop time! 
Begin time. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we have... Oh, this is... Yeah, this part's like a little dumb portal element. You know, I'm going to save us a little exploration there. But there, we did it. We went through the portal. Okay. This is our first gray. This is our first gray thing we've seen. So yeah, uh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. This is like the first time you really going into the game. I thought it was just gonna be that black and white splatter stuff, and so at this point, I'm like, wow, actually, uh, there is more to this than I thought there was going to be. And the game continues to do that basically the whole way. Just like, oh whoa, there is more to this than I thought. So cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You can't even go there. You can just stare at it. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go. Bloodworth calling out how I spent all day trying to figure out which game I would be streaming today. I like the sound right now. peeking through there. Let's see if we can get one shot. Oh. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're outside this way. Mindy Castle. Furious. Hmm. hmm. Map of a maze. Uh, the first time I played through this game, I uh, took a cell phone picture of that map and then brought it up later. I don't think we'll need it today because I think I kind of have a grasp of how that works, but uh, I like this kind of thing. Love that hippo. Love this. This is all stuff you see later. Too bad. I don't like your art. I don't even need that. And this is atrocious. I said, this is a tro- there we go. <laughs> uh, there's something really cool up here that I love to death. Um, first yellow here. Uh, this is a map of the first stage. This is where we climbed in through here. We went up these stairs. This is like, this is where the pond would be. Uh, we climbed in through here. That is the, oh, I wish I could jump on top of it. This is the entrance where we first saw that big statue of the king. And we went up that scaffolding, and then we're right here with a bunch of other statues. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. This is the spot where we were trying to find that balloon. Right there. That's our spot. Oh, I wish I knew where that balloon went to. Uh, and there's that hippo that we hopped on top of to get to that corner. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. I love that. I love that that thing exists up here. You know, like he was designing the castle that we were just inside of. Now find your chair. Where's your chair? I bet you don't even know. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, look at that. 
That's so cool. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things where I like have to do it twice. A similar thing is uh, in Metal Gear Solid, the first one, when you're walking toward Metal Gear, the uh, when the camera kind of like shifts behind Snake, so by the time you're looking at Metal Gear, it's like from beneath you, so the camera goes above and then beneath. Uh, just uh, epic moments like that possible through video game cameras. And this one, I mean, is first person. You control it. Look at this environment. This is crazy. This is really crazy. What are you doing here? That's what I thought. We'll talk to you later. So yeah, uh, here we are. There's uh, the, that maze that we had a map of earlier. This is cool. This huge freaking maze. Let's just hop right into it. Let's go. Uh, no fall damage. The little boy cannot fight. Uh, there's these. There's some like story pages. The labyrinth was designed to be beautiful, and it was. It was not designed to be practical, and it wasn't. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time, mail took months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Uh, you know, that's cute. The thought that, uh, the labyrinth attracts dragons. That's freaking adorable. There you are. Look at this little white balloon. Gotcha. Man, that balloon that we had to give up on is going to kill me. <laughs> that hurts. It really hurts that we had to give up on a balloon. So that was the whole maze. Look, we got through it. We did not need to memorize that map. This is what I think of your maze. Yeah. Now what? so frustrated with the messy, demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. Um, I just realized something. Somebody asked earlier, jump in the water, you're right, I'll do it for you, in the spirit of curiosity. Oh, it won't let me, invisible walls. Dang. Can I jump in this water? Uh, you can die as many times as you want in this game. I want to jump in that water though. Uh, I actually, I actually did get that one trophy for doing three paintballs on that first level. Uh, and I remember I watched a YouTube video of one guy doing it and just copied his movements exactly. Uh, which is sad. It's a sad thing to do for a trophy. But I think I wanted 100% for this game. I really like it. Um, a little talent scale for me. And then this showed us where that one white balloon used to be. And then you're like, oh, now I gotta go back. Because we were ready for it this time. You hear me? Ready for it. Okay. So let's do it. Let's move on. Ooh, I never noticed that before. They just kind of bounce off of this material. You can't paint gold. Roll, kid. For the first time in weeks, Hi, Monroe Grassman, felt Matt. good. He when felt even better when the wind pushed out. him close uh, enough to be reach the swan. He was feeling uh, so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his uh, we fear just of recorded it today. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he remembered almost immediately. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. Grassman Matt cannot wait to see the ultimate smackdown. It is that. You can count on that coming for sure. All right, so let's do it. Hype for that loss. Get out of here, RHD. You wish. I mean, somebody loses. You're right. There's always one winner and one loser. Monroe scrambled out of the water and found himself in a massive city you know what's with weird no is like, sign of the swan or anyone else. I get sick of else. games and stories well, that are about little adventurous boys. Well, except someone's enormous pair of feet. 
These were attached to a giant I'm not sure who could why. have been a big Maybe help I was in catching the swan. Boy. But, unfortunately, here was the laziest giant who had ever lived. And it was his day off. Having celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better. A floating ship. Cool. Let's take that. Oh, yeah, and then look, we're just straight back into the game. Everything you saw in that cutscene is here. Uh, I think I'd prefer if Monroe, like, acts like a security cat, you know? Acts like Kyle Boston, basically. Uh, so we no longer have black splatter. Now we shoot water. Never explained why, but there it is. Now we, uh, I know, all dries up. Uh, I think we can still top time. Just top time, we can. Cool. Cool. Really, really cool. Look at his toes. There's a balloon we'll get later. I like that. I'm just kind of showing off at this point. I got some cheese up there. Some of that the giant ate. So yeah, I didn't see this coming either. We're in like a whole little city environment. And I'm like, whoa. I just thought this was a game about painting the walls. That's right, I'm soaking your elbow. Soak his elbow all day long. Uh, so I think we do this. No, we do that. Uh oh, our balloon meter was going off. Sometimes the giant wondered about where all the people in the city had oh, gone. Mostly he worried they might come back and ask him to clean their gutters or put out their fires. But they never did. And that was why the giant, who was the laziest that had ever lived, was also the happiest. Uh, condescending storyteller, you know? She talks down to us, I feel like. Also weird for her to do this perspective of the giant suddenly. When she's just been talking about Monroe this whole time. See goose tracks. Sorry, swan tracks. Hey, there's that balloon we saw earlier. I love that kind of thing. Oh dear. So we're gonna have to turn on some water in order to do that. Okay. Let's come up here. It's a good vision. Could be with a giant. There he is. Just slumbering away. You lazy giants. So now we got flowing water. And now we can hop on that boat. All just to hop on a boat. See if our water bounces off that gold. Oh, let's see if we can hit that gold. Alright. Ah. Gotta give up on you, blue balloon? No way. I got you, buddy. Haha, <laughs> I like that sound a lot. Oh, there's another balloon nearby. Balloon meter, it's going off. Bagfoil beef, bagfoil 
Oteev suggests that... What is your... Is it like something backwards? Bag for your teeth. No, it's like bag for your teeth. Got it. Where are you, balloon? You mean here? Oh, yeah, cool. Look at us finding secrets. I'll take that balloon, thank you. Alright, back onto the path. Suggest we use the Poke Flute to wake up the sleeping giant. Poke Flutes only work on Pokemon. And that giant is most certainly not a Pokemon. Okay, well, I'm home. I'm just gonna go in my home. Okay, end of story. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Part two scaffolding. Great title. Okay, so we're like, oh, I can't climb that ladder, so we gotta go over here. That's what this is. Shoot that. Shoot that. Great catch. Well done, little Monroe. I'll be up there later. Okay. So this is the only difficult jump in this entire game. Is this to that. Let's go. I'm gonna tilt down a little bit so I'm ready to jump it. Okay, right, let's go. Come on, Moro, catch that. You idiot. You're so bad at catching. Alright. That's on me. That was just a bad catch on me. Oh, I see we already did that. Let's get the jump this time, okay, little buddy? We don't got all day. It's just another messy Monday. Oh, you're killing me, little guy. All right. All right. One more try. Let's go. Uh, there's no run. This is the fastest that this little boy can travel. He's really good at climbing. I'll give him that. But he is not good at running. That he could work on. You know what? I got a special strategy. Jump off on this railing. Then we'll jump over. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. That's stupid. Okay. This is bizarre, right? Why does the woman have a mustache? Okay. So this is cool. Uh, our objective is ever-present. We're trying to go to that, right? And we just see it this whole way. I love that kind of thing as well. Maybe I should jump over there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you dumb swan. Where are you going? Okay. I think I've already collected all these balloons. Is why there's no need to go over there. I'm doing it anyway. To climb over there to get to that. Okay, so that's what we'll do. I got you. Okay. Everything squared away. Yeah, this will be cool on PS4. We wouldn't have that little uh, stuttery frame right there on newer hardware. Yeah, I'll probably play through it again, the whole thing. Get all those dumb trophies again. Is there a way in there? I bet not. Dang. Okay. Wouldn't a female king be a queen? Uh, yeah, normally. This is a strange fantasy universe, though, I guess, where this king has a logo for himself. You learn he's not a great guy. You learn the king's not very cool. Great. I have to jump through this door. Cool. So that's actually a weird little alternate route that both lead to here. Yeah, look at this game. Look at this right now. This is an environment we're about to go through. Okay, that's my objective. The game's called Unfinished Swan, so I gotta chase that swan. Got it. Ooh, a bunch of balloons. Got you, the dumb balloons. Did I get that one? I think I got credit for that. Well, we can only pray now that I did. <laughs> oh, I see. I could have just jumped down and got it. Oh, whatever. Okay. Door opened. 
so we have a mass of this stuff for the first time. The water bounces off of it. part of the story. As the city filled up with people, the streets filled up with garbage. And the fury that came painted on the road the canal, which swept away the trash, along with some of the slower children, that's a joke. But the water brought something else, a horde of vines which began covering the city. Okay, cool. More than just ah. That spider is the most 2D, least scary thing. What did I do? Open. Got another. And the water flows through the city once more. Kyle, do you think Monster Hunter 4 will come to Wii U? I do think it will come to Wii U. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. Voice acting is not necessary. Ah, uh, so this is cool. So. As the city filled up with people, the streets filled up with garbage. We already heard this part. In a fury, the king painted over the roads with a canal, which swept away the trash, along with some of the slower children. But the water brought something else, a horde of vines which began covering the city. All right, I already read that part. Uh, so you can see, actually, the function of the vines. Uh, you climb them. And so, basically, you are creating your own uh, surface that you can climb on. Which is pretty cool. Come on, come on, man. catch up with me. There we go. Uh, easiest way to use the vines is to just get on it and then keep shooting forward and basically keeps up with you. Very yeah. slow. Okay, let's get that bowling. Clearly skipped the first time through. Not this time, baby. I got gotcha. you. Get the bowling, bro. Come on, man. There you go. Okay. So we see our next environment here. What's over here? I think just more nothingness. Which is cool. It makes a convincing environment. You believe almost that people lived here once. Okay. Follow me, vines. Come along then. Onto the wall, vines. Onto the wall. Very good climber. I don't know how he shoots the water if they come out of his mouth or nose or, or like hands, uh, but something seems impractical there. Okay, um, burp, 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 burp. this way. I'm going to climb a large wall. Yeah, Swan, we know, buddy. Okay, go away. Cool balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see you following the swan's footprints up to that spot up there. No, come on, come on. Help me out here. There you go. Yep, okay. That's great. Okay. Um, no. Help. There you go. Okay, we're up here. There's a balloon up there. That's gonna be a tricky one. All right, vines. Do your magic. Oh, I see. Uh, the vines cannot go through cracks. They do not have that power. Going all the way around, it does. Okay, interesting. Oh, I know. Uh, so I think the vines have interesting reactions to some of these frames, like that. Cool, we just made a well. We shot water and got that balloon for us. That was really cool. Thanks, well. Okay, um, this way. I'm coming for you, Swan. I like that it does stay out of reach, just out of reach. Okay, then we take our lines and put them in the tube. Uh, over analytical gamers uh, theory is that the water is coming out of Monroe's butt. Which I think is not a strong theory, but any theory is as accurate as anyone else's here. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Look how cool that is. Look at that. Oh, and this. Oh, you know I love this. Look at it. We can look back at where we came from and you can see your path, the vines. It definitely affects the frame rate to have to render all of that, but it's cool. Really, really cool. You know I love that. Okay. Moving on. Got a little, uh, a little climbing to do. <laughs> yeah, that was all done for us, just in case you were wondering if that was anything that I did. No, I didn't do that. That was predetermined that Monroe would make that sweet jump. Uh, <laughs> I like that I'm allowed to like look up as I'm drowning. That's funny. Okay. So we're in a new little environment here. Look at the tree. Seems like there's a balloon on top of the tree. Uh, so basically at this point, you get that anything yellow you can climb, right? Because the first ladder we saw, the first yellow thing we saw was a ladder actually. See a new maze over here, that's pretty cool. Bob the King. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's go over there. Drown this, I did, okay. <laughs> okay no, no more drowning, okay. No more drowning, let's go back to the tree. Right, yeah, because it'll take us over there. Okay, we have to climb the tree. Kyle, will you, will you be buying Bayonetta 2? Yes. I don't know if you were all there for the live stream that we did last Friday, but that was a crazy game, and I'm excited to check it out and play it for my own self on a large yeah. TV. So, you know, you get the impression the king's pretty full of himself at this point. Let's look at what the story was. Unlike his nicely trimmed hedge maze, the vines refused to stay where the king wanted them. He ordered his subjects to pull up every vine they saw. But the people were getting tired of the king's endless decrees. So they secretly began watering the vines whenever the king wasn't looking. Uh... Delcast asks if there's any Wii U game I have not bought. Oh, yeah, there are plenty, actually. Um, new Super Mario Bros. Wii U. You know, I didn't play for free. I had that game free. Unlockable for Enjoy stuff like that. That's crazy. That's so fun. The fake out. All right. So uh, this maze, you actually don't have to bother with this at all. It's not even the way forward. The way forward is through this door. It's just there for fun. Just there for interesting things to see, which you know I like. Okay. We got some new vines. Where are we going, vines? We're going up. What you got, balloon meter? What have I done here? <laughs> Looks like we didn't have to climb that wall at all. Um, Where am I? Uh, and what's cool about this uh, just spraying mine everywhere is that unlike shooting the black paint everywhere, you can still kind of get a sense for the geometry of the room, even when it's full. Let's do uh, stuff back there. Yeah, what are you going to do now, Vines? You got all that? So this is cool. There's like a 
table here, and you can see like the things on the table. Even. And there's the king's chair. So yeah, there's lots to see in this room, which I think is great. Okay. Introduce Prince Ellis to climb. So we shot. Actually, you know what? I want to show you one more thing while we're down here. Um, I'll do what you need. Can I not go back through? Did you lock the door to the chimney? Yeah, the game locked us out. We can't go back down there. That sucks. It locked us in the chimney. Do you guys have to go through hair and makeup for GT time in those recorded shows? What about live streams? That's actually a very fair question. Uh, the only show I've ever been on where I wore makeup, I've, I've done it twice, uh, one for, uh, bonus round. Whenever I'm on bonus round, there's always a makeup person, and so I had to wear makeup for bonus round. And then the other time was, uh, when I was live, when I was on, uh, E3 Live, and I had to wear makeup. But then, things like this, no, this is... This is a natural face, baby. No makeup and uh, GT time. Now. Final boss. Hey! Uh, I should wear makeup for those things, uh, but I honestly do not care. I'm fine with like looking ugly. It's fine. Don't backtrack, Kyle. All right, Captain Kimo. They didn't let me backtrack anyway. We're progressing. Dang, I don't know what time it is. When we might even be able to. Oh, 6:44. No, we're not gonna beat it. Sorry, everybody. Maybe we can. Maybe I can just. Stay um. Oh, the balloon meter is going nuts. I bet it's behind me. It isn't. Oh dear. We lost our shot at that balloon. It was probably through that gate. My assumptions made an ass of you and me. Alright. Maybe we can go back. Okay, well, we'll just have set up and then... <coughs> Just cough it out, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I think the balloon was through that gate. I'm sorry, everybody. Look, and there's a hole. Yeah, clearly we were supposed to look through that. Oh, well. Um, this door. Up here. Uh, you can kind of see the island from here, which is cool. Hopefully you're not a story a more. The king hated the sea, and all because of his very first castle. It was the only one he had ever come close to finishing, and it took him a single day. But then the tide came in and washed it all away. He vowed that someday he'd build a kingdom that would last forever. Actually, that's interesting. I don't know what the purpose of is. Captain Kimo says we don't backtrack. We charge forward. We are on a mission to collect balloons. All right, uh, it's probably over here, aren't you? Where are you, balloon? See you. My balloon meter sees you. What's up? Oh, this is the thing I like. This is what I wanted to show you. Was uh, that hole over there? That stained glass was there while we were having uh, dinner in the fancy room. Uh, so just like a, another way to give you context for where you are. Right now. You know, I love that kind of thing. Ah, there's the king. So that's cool. We already know where the king is. He's inside of the island. Love that. Okay. All right, balloon. Come on. You're making my radar go off. Where are you? Balloon hunters. Hey, Kyle. What are you streaming? Uh, streaming balloon hunters? What is that? Oh, it's uh, it's this really cool game. Basically, you just like hunt for balloons. What do you mean hunt for balloons? What do you do with them? Oh, you just you spray them with like little bulbs of water. Okay, you know what? For Captain Kimo, we're gonna. Leave
Leave it alone. Normal Kyle would have just showered that with globs of water to find out. You know, we're live streaming. We're going. We gotta make Captain Timo happy. Okay. Just finished Last of Us Left Behind. What did you think of it? Don't ruin the ending. I had that ending ruined for me, and that really sucked. Uh, I'm curious what you thought of it, though. Because I really like it. Oh, yeah, so check that out. Because we uh, shot up this room full of vines, uh, there's a little vine sticking out from it. And then we can use that. I love that kind of thing. Uh, not only does it get a context where we once were, there's sort of a consequence for what we did in that room. I mean, the game kind of assumes that you pulled it full of vines. And then, yeah, we're doing like monkey bars right now while we shoot water. I'm gonna choose the blue he shoots this out of his mouth. There's no reason why he could do this otherwise. Oh, yeah, we gotta drop. I went too far. Uh, the environment is just full of context. I love that kind of thing. He could be holding onto the monkey bars with his hair. So yeah, you know what? That's a decent theory as well. All right, here's some more story for us. The, the vines were slowly burying the king and his city. No matter what he tried, the king couldn't stop them. So he decided to create something that could. He mixed in paint thinner, malice and snot, and soon had the outlines of a pretty horrible creature. But it wasn't until the thing began to coil its tentacles and snap its jaws that the king understood what he had made. And for the first time in his life, the king was afraid. Beardless 2, I get what you're saying, especially because a lot of Left Behind. Oh, this, see, this part took me forever. For me, I thought there was no way I would be able to climb on this tube, especially like this. We can look around as much as we want. He's just hanging, clinging onto this tube. Kind of lending a lot of evidence to the hair theory. Uh, this took me a really long time to solve this part because I didn't think that was possible in the game. In fact, it still makes no sense. But you know what? We'll give it to him. There we go. We need the sows. Uh, that's funny. His pickup is not one word there. Or shouldn't be. Grammatically speaking. Who cares what I say? Um, so, we got a hose now. I wonder if we can do it. Oh, we can. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, it's too cool! It's too cool! Oh man, that's so cool. Look at that. Uh, I think the vines got confused there. That's funny. Normally you're like tr making the vines come all the way around here. It looks like you can cheat it a little bit somehow. From there. That is, that's so funny. I love this little... Come on over, Vines. Come on over. There you go. That is the only time in the game that you are forced to use the hose. You can unlock it with your points later if you want to. Oops. No, thank you. Here's 
There's some more story for you. Even half finished, the creature had no trouble swallowing up all the king's soldiers, half his zoo, and three peppermint gazebos. It was only with the help of his pet hippo and the giant that the king was able to force it into the sea. And though the water remained black for years after, the creature was never seen again on shore. Cool. All right. There's a weird little petal here. What are you? I don't understand what that was. I mean, clearly we have these here. I don't know. They may have just glitched out. Look at the sword and shield. Cool. On here. Our objective is clear to get over that thing. So your paintballs can't reach the ceiling until you climb onto the ceiling. Oh! Foolish child. Alright, let's get it back up there. I'm on, let's go. Come on, Murder Row. Dang, I really need to get on the ceiling and it's like, won't let me. Come on, let me on the. Ugh. Okay. Alright. You're trying my patience right now. My patience is thin. Okay. Yeah, I really won't let us climb the ceiling right now. Put us in! the gap. Come on, Moreau. You got this, little boy. There you go. Nice. Okay. Well done. And then another room to climb. Balloon meter, by the way. It's like, you should be working out, buddy. There's something coming. Hello, vines? Please help out. Come on, vines. Help me out here. Fine. You're just taking your own path, huh? In a short time, the king's subjects had all moved away, except the giant, who was quite loyal and also very lazy. Giant didn't mind. Swan, wait! Wait, Swan! What are you doing? <laughs> that did not make the sound I thought it would. Make a weird empty metallic noise. That's okay. All right, balloon. Where are you? We're not allowed to search for balloons for too long. I'm curious about where it is. Stop time. Start time. Finally, see the king sandwich. It was just some toast. That's funny. Perspective. Uh, can we make it onto that balloon? I don't see why we shouldn't try. Okay, let's do it. Okay, under there. Let's go. Come on, balloon. Come on. Oh, we like bounced off it even. Balloon? This is Balloon Hunters, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Well, it's fun to die anyway. Alright, we'll just keep moving forward. Hi, Brandon. Get a bunch of Balloon. We don't need it. Monroe waved goodbye to the giant and set sail. But no matter how fast he went, the swan was always just out of reach. And not for the first time that day, Monroe suspected he was being led somewhere. Then they flew into a cloud 
and everything went black. Wow, Striker Dragoon. I don't want to buy a Wii U for Smash anymore. That's really sad. That's a bummer. But Monroe sailed on it. in darkness following the swan's voice, but he never saw a thing. Not the stars, not the swan, and certainly not the tree he got stuck in. When the clouds lifted, the swan was gone, leaving Monroe alone in the middle of an immense forest. Since there was nothing else to be done, he jumped. That's video games for you. Beautiful transition again. Look, we're in the games world. And now all we have are black paintballs. Huh. Oh, okay. I must be trying to get over there. Okay. I'm coming for you. Oh. Yep. Another trap. Great. Just get out of here. Old Monroe falls into another trap. There's a balloon nearby. Where are you, balloon? There you are, we see you. Can't hide from us. Yeah, so this is interesting. I didn't expect the game to go in this direction either. Like, we're, we're in dark. There's kind of some cell shaded stuff going on with these trees. I really like it. Heading toward that weird king's thing. Swan tracks. Huh. Oh dear. So frightening. Wait, did I just. I did. We were backtracking. Huh. Just looks like this weird thing where we travel from blown body to blown body. No big deal. Whatever. I can handle this. Oh, but now they are spiders. Get out of there, spiders. You heard me. Okay, let me see that glob covered by the game. Spiders will kill you. That's what you learned there. So, alright, we're all learned up. Looks like we're leaving a balloon behind. Get out of here. Okay. There we go, that's my spot. Yeah, so sometimes they get some hits in. There's nothing you can do about it. Cool, and now we got our ball. And then this ball is the key. You can get the rest of the um, I think there's a balloon over here. How about balloon? Man, everything's just shooting in the dark. Whatever. Alright, uh, where'd my ball go? Ball, can you help us find this balloon over here? What do you see? Magic ball, we're right on top of it. What do you see? Do you see a balloon? Help me see the balloon. Oh, 
noises from this game. Man, we're missing so many balloons. They're just hidden in the dark. Where are you, balloons? killed us. They did. Okay. So, that's what, uh, balloon searching gets us. Is, uh, certain death. And, uh, disassociation. I don't know where I'm going in the right direction anymore. How far back did it take us? Forget about that balloon. We don't need it. Otherwise, the spiders will kill us. Part two. All right. So the balls in the water, and we know that we die if we go in the water. So now we have to kind of like travel along with the ball. Because again, the balls are lifeline. Up, you don't okay. Switching sides. See something down there. Oh, there you are. We got one. Feels good to get one. of creating perfect kingdoms only to attract less than perfect subjects, he decided he'd have to leave a legacy the old-fashioned way, with a family. So he began to build one, starting with a house. This is the king's house, where we made it. The king had never had much luck with people, so instead of trying to find a wife, he painted one. When she opened her eyes, the king was astonished. He had created a female version of himself. The king was in love. For us. Okay, so now the game gets pretty interesting. Oh, there's a balloon over there. Sorry, before the game gets interesting, we are balloon hunters first and foremost. There we go. Okay, now let's let the game get interesting. You might see this, and you're like, oh man, I gotta jump in here. Part three, home. So now we're in blueprint world. 
like, what is that? What does that mean? Uh, so check this out. This is never really explained. You can just do it. So now you can create platforms. Like, just like that. Isn't that cool? And I mean, like, you can make weird ones, too, if you want. They don't all have to be functional. Boom. Cool. You know, it's just a weird feature you didn't expect this one game about uh, spraying paint to have. But it's there. Balloon meter is going nuts. What you got, balloon meter? Behind? Should we look behind? Yeah. See, this I don't mind. I don't mind if they're, like, not in the dark. You just have to be kind of curious to find them. Um, and then so, we're going to want to make some stairs for us when we go back out into the real world. Mm, did I do that wrong? That's yeah, fine. Again, the frame rate's just like, what the heck is going on, dude? What did you do? <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Uh, because we hop back out here, and we see that that weird little stairwell we created uh, exists out here now. And then we can use that to climb into this room we couldn't before. And that, to me, is freaking genius. Gotcha, hold on. Going to the king's house, and it's like unfinished. It's like, what happened here? Bursting with joy, the king locked himself in his workshop painting gifts for his queen. He never saw her lack of interest, though she made no effort to hide it. The only gift she kept was his first, a little silver paintbrush. And the king made himself a queen. And not even she loves him. Pot full, the nursery. Um, so here we see, uh, this is basically what I had to play up Every to. day, the king painted a new room for the house, and every day he abandoned it as not good enough for his queen. While he slept, the queen spent her nights painting creatures of the forest, though she never finished a single one. Five months went by before the king noticed she was pregnant. Oh, look at that belly. She's pregnant, and she painted that frog for us. Pretty cool. Doesn't make too much sense, though. Uh, this is awesome. Look at like what we can just like look down into. Whoa! Oh, you know we saw that balloon. Let us get over there. Let's so get that shot there. Okay. Um, fine. Want to do that. Man, I really like the sound. Cool. That's really all we'll need. We could cover the whole floor, but it won't be necessary. Oh, that's cool. You can even see the down in the basement. I'm just gonna check that out over there. Look at these stairs. That's so cool. So we're like inside the blueprints. Freaky, dude. Okay, continuing on. So yeah, this whole like platform creation mechanic just exists within this last third of the game. Uh, no warning about that, you know, that wasn't in trailers, I don't think. Just a neat thing. Nice gazebo, you stupid kid. It's got like a little weird platform in it. What now? Okay. Um... I wonder if we can get one that reaches out here, so we can skip that one thing. Let's see if we can make that jump in a row. I don't think you can, so let's do that. So you can even like be a little creative with the platforms you create, which is really fun. We can jump there to there, and there to there. Sweet. Can we make that jump? Nice. <laughs> this is some elite strats for Unfinished Swan. 
There should be speedrunners for this game. I'd, keep, I'd be curious to see like somebody really good at it and how that person performs. Oh, come on, man. Oh, you little child. I need a double jump in a row. Climb this ladder, and this was the uh, pop fact that I did for Damiani. Was uh, I guess we have to go up a little higher. Okay, so we got here. I like this always. Climbing a tower. Then we can look down at where we were and the platforms we already made to get here. Really cool stuff. Okay, moving on. Through the telescope, we see this planet where Journey hey. takes place. Cool. Okay, that's all that was. That was the pop fact that I had to do for Damiani and the reason I've been replaying through this game. Man, balloon meter sees something. Oh, I bet we can do like and stretching out as far as possible. Okay. And I think this will let us see the balloon that was behind it. Yeah, cool. Then, let's do doop -a -doop. straight up there, and then we'll return to the real world. Cool. And then, that was all so we could use this one platform that we made that one time. Boom. And now we see the king's weird tower that we know he's inside of. We saw you in there. Use your weird gazebo. I guess that platform doesn't stick around. Okay. I'm marching forward in the darkness. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. We're never marching forward in darkness for that long. Oh, that's where the footprints go. Okay. Yeah, I guess that was right. On the night before the queen was to give birth, she left. All she took was a single, unfinished painting. When the king woke, he found no explanation, and he never did. Dang. So the story got weirdly heavy there. King's pregnant wife. Oh, gotcha, boy. So long. Uh left the day before she was meant to have her baby and only left behind a painting well king we're gonna go get some answers got it didn't paint a thing. Then he had a vision, a colossal monument of himself that would be his legacy for the ages. But he hadn't even finished painting the scale model, which was over 100 feet tall itself, when his powers began to fail. Uh, so that's funny, right? That this tower there isn't the monument. It's, oh, man, <laughs> stupid jokes. Why do I laugh at these? The 
this is simply a, a scale model of the monument. The king never finished another painting. Then one night he went to sleep and couldn't even finish his own dream. And he's been trapped inside it ever since. So the king is sleeping. Okay, you see electricity? I think this will kill us, right? Cool. Alright. You see our lucky goose prints? So we'll just follow those. Swan prints, excuse me again. Ah, it's a lemon. As Monroe stood there trying to think of something to say, the statue shuddered and the hatch slammed shut. And now there was no more need for talking. The king was awake. The king's dream. Let's do it. DK, I'm sorry I missed that balloon. I got stressed out by the sinking statue. Ah, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed, and all I could do was watch. Come, sit here by the fire. It all began right there, in the house I grew up in. So the game is just at I heard a weird heavy point knocking now. at the door. Right? Just like on the night I left. You did not see this coming. Cool texture on that, right? Like a little etching style. There's gotta be a balloon through here. Oh! Oh hey, that's me. That's a mirror. Well look at my reflection. I'm the king as a boy. Oh, I see your balloon. Okay. 
see what was knocking at the door. I opened the door, but there was nothing there. Just a white space. Stop time. Everyone isn't balloon me or distracting. Should I turn that off? I guess it's late now. I should have. But when I got outside, disaster. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. Yeah, that's me, buddy. I did this to your garden. Who spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the. <laughs> Something got in my mouth. Oh dear. Oh, there we are. Barely hidden at all. Okay, moving on. I saw my unfinished labyrinth, abandoned and forgotten. And then the credits appeared. <laughs> Your dreams have credits? Oh yes, and subtitles. Adorable. I wish the hippo's voice wasn't just slowed down. Oh, credits here. And then I saw my beautiful city strangled by those disgusting vines. I built it to stand a hundred lifetimes and instead to be buried in one, a monument for weeds. Balloon hunters. We gotta get that balloon. Missing the credits. Uh, to Doraemon E. This is the dining hall right. was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. Then suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold and dark. I felt my own death rising up around me. Floated past chunks of the house I built, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone before I am. Balloon hunting. Punished. Punished for balloon hunting. Oh, 
we can make that jump. What is the plan to do? I was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. No one was there. Except you. He's gone. I saw my monument, my last hope of leaving something that would live on after me, and I began to walk towards it. I wish I saw that one. Oh. Ooze animation. Richard Greenspan. Ooze animation. It's just a gravestone. Alright, moving on. And with each step I took, I got larger. just kept growing and growing like a teenager. Ugh. With a gentle push, my mind crumbled and sank. I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me the same way I painted over what was here before me. This is really cool. I mean, this is the map of where we were before. That's it. And then, somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go. But leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. Yo, subtitles and dialogue were not matching up there. I'm super confused. And there, look, Monroe finished the painting. The swan is finished. So, yeah, there's a lot to take from that story. I don't, you know, I don't know. I honestly don't know what you take away from that story. That's it. That's the end of the game, everybody. Uh, thank you for spending your Monday evening or, or Tuesday morning with me. Uh, playing through that game. That was it. That's the unfinished one. Sniper rifle, of course. Oh, that's, that's why it's locked. I guess I have to get all the balloons to unlock the sniper rifle. Oh, and this was really cool, too. I remember unlocking that as well. Um, you can unlock, like, the prototype level of this game, I think, also, if you get all the balloons in the game. So those things are worth getting. That's a cool thing to do. Pick up blueprint boxes. Yeah. Um, really, really cool uh, extras to this game. Things that make it, uh, you know, worth getting through and actually balloon hunting. Anyway, everyone, that was a stream. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Damiani is here, which means the stream is officially over. Look at it. All right, I'm just going through the concept art so everyone can see. 
what didn't make it into the game. I love concept art. But uh, that's gonna be oh, a train. There's gonna be a train at one point. Okay, all right, going through real fast. Look at all this concept. This is basically all this stuff made it into the game, except for that little weird little boy. Okay, I'm going very quickly. Everybody, again, thanks for joining. This is funny. The queen is to scale, even though she never appears. I like chubbier king. Okay, there's a boy. Coins. Okay, there's an alligator. Great concept art. This is sick stuff. Cool, cool work on this. There's the frog. Like that frog is in the game. That made it. Okay. Okay. Spiders. Spiders never made it. They didn't make it into the game. Sweet. That certainly did not. Okay. Infinite swamp. There we go. All right, everybody. Bye. Good night. And see you tomorrow.